Ian four 0 into the first round. That's more like it, right? Yeah, we, I'd say we probably should have just done that on uh, Saturday and saved <laughs> ourselves uh, the time. But uh, obviously, you know, Tamworth gave us a, a really tough test on Saturday, and, and today I think we learnt from that, and, and it was a completely different performance. But I felt it would be, you know, as soon as we got to Meadow Lane, the grass, the, it was wet, the ball moved quick, and, and it was a different game entirely then. And, and I thought we handled everything very professionally. You know, they were really disciplined, first 20. Uh, we had to be a little bit patient, but once we got the goal and the game opened up, I think we were we were very good. You mentioned the pitch, but what other big differences were there tonight between Saturday and, and today? I think it was the energy we played with. Um, that was maybe my biggest criticism of us in the, in the dressing room afterwards that I felt like we were a bit too passive this was more like what I saw towards the back end of last season with um, wing backs going 1v1 and creating and uh, midfield runners from deep and strikers getting in the box and that I, I felt that was the the energy that we brought into the game was was much better and we maintained it for the for the whole game as well a couple of goals for Cairo Mitchell tonight he's had to wait a while um, but those two goals have come man of the match as well how big of a deal do you think that'll be to him to finally get off the mark and get a couple and hopefully kick on? I think for any striker, just to get that first goal you, you're waiting for, especially at home in front of the fans, was great. Um, and, and for him, he's been working exceptionally hard. You know, He worked so hard at his game. He's a great lad. Um, and, and I thought he was brilliant tonight. His all-round game was brilliant tonight. But he hasn't had a lot of, you know, he's had kind of a start and then come out and then coming off the bench. So, you know, he's had, he's had two games on the bounce now, leading the line down the middle. And I think that's where he's, he suits it best. And, and then we see that, you know, two really good finishes from him. And, and can he work? I mean, it did tonight, but I wonder, can it work alongside Kyle Wood? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you saw, and I know Kyro's there, and you, you saw... Um, probably his best game before this was Wrexham when he played uh, straight down the middle with Woods. So I think they complement each other well. I think Woods takes a lot of the physical demands um, and allows Cairo to go and run in behind and, and uh, get half turn, go 1v1. So I think that it's a, yeah, absolutely it's a good combination. Frank Vincent as well, talk about waiting and having mm -hmm. to bide his time. Done a lot of that. What did you make of him and to get a goal as well? I thought he was great. Um, he, he brought exactly what I knew he'd bring, which is absolutely bags of energy. The, the kids are going to run all day, um, and he did that. He, he made great movements. I thought he, he did well with the ball. Uh, towards the end, he was taking a few pot shots, looking <laughs> for his second in there. Um, but he, he took his goal well, and, and I thought it was a really good first performance for him and, and something to build on. But I mean, he, in fairness to him, in that first half, he looked like he had a proper left peg on him and yeah. drew an incredible save out of their keeper. He's got a fantastic left foot, um, and he's got an eye for the for a pass, and he can run. So that's why we brought him. But obviously, you know, he's had to bide his time and wait. You can only play eleven players at once, and and uh, Frank's been been building up in training, and he's been absolutely like a caged animal the last couple of weeks, ready to go. And, and I was just glad that he could get out and, and perform like that today. I was half expecting to see Connell Rawlinson and um, Kyle Wooten come off and be substituted because. Well, Kyle's Kyle and, yeah. and Connell's not played since early September, but they played the full 90. Why was that? Um, I mean, Connell feels good and I, f I didn't feel like he was getting that tested defensively in, in these moments. So it, the demands on the game were not that high. Um, so I thought it was a good opportunity for him to get his minutes in. Um, Kyle Wooden's a machine. like He could play 90 Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, no problem. And he didn't play much at the weekend. So for him, it was good to get that 90 minutes and... Um, yeah, you know, we changed him into the number 10 role towards the end and just to have a look at that. And, and yeah, I thought Woods did great, so no need to bring him off. I'll come to Cal Roberts in a moment, but I take it, apart from him and Sam Slocum, it's a pretty much clean bill of health now as you go back into such a tricky run of games in the National League, what with Lacey, Cameron and Rawlinson all available. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. I mean, you look at the fixtures that are upcoming and, and they come thick and fast and they're very, very good teams in our league. So um, to have Lacey coming back, Connell coming back, looking good, Kyle Cameron coming back, I don't think um, Cal Roberts is a is a bad one. Hopefully, he's going to be back maybe this weekend, but um, I, certainly by Grimsby, I hope all being well. And Sam Slocum's on on the road to recovery, so long may that continue. Was that just a little tweak to Cal's hamstring on Saturday? It just just a bit of tightness he felt really, but obviously, you know, we didn't want to take any risks. He's played a lot of ninety minutes. I think if you look at his history, he's had quite a lot of times where he comes out of the game, or um, and he's completed a lot of ninety minutes so far this season. And on on that surface. We just felt um, it was better to get him off and, and not take a risk with him. Just finally then, uh, how much confidence can you take from a performance like this tonight? Another clean sheet as well, back into what is going to be a you know, big atmosphere, big game here on Saturday. Absolutely. I, I think the three clean sheets is important. Um, you know, we've, 
regardless of who we play, to be able to keep a clean sheet is good. Um, I think that we, we got a lot of attacking patterns, which I, 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 I kind of knew that we would do today. I felt like this would be a good exercise for us to work on some final third bits, um, which we did, and that will give us hopefully some confidence. We don't get carried away, but it's um, certainly there were a lot of things that we can take forwards over the next coming games.